Hi guys, my name is Firefire and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn where we are doing a modded challenge series. Well, it's not a challenge, it's a modded series and this map has a few challenges on it. Now, in the last episode, we rearranged pretty much the whole town because we want to make things a little bit neater. We want to get things in permanent positions so we don't have to keep on moving things around. And we made quite a few things. We made this little... um town center here where we can have all our beavers live and we made a breeding tower if that's what you want to call it and then a little place where they can get all spiritual and spend time in nature but in this episode we've still got a few things to do we've got to make a certain water production so we need about 20 or is it 20 I think it's 30 actually. I think we need 30 of these water storages and we need some water pumps and all that jazz and then fix our trees and then last but not least start getting down here so we can start farming metal because that's pretty much the next step that we need to do. We need to start farming metal before we can start really, really playing about with this map. So let's get on with water first now water production i want to be in this area here water production and water storage because this is the old water tower in the law so we want to keep it kind of close to that that's kind of memories right it's memories that's what we're going to call it memories to salute the old days the good old days so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it actually because I want to make sure they don't start building. And we're gonna build something like this for now. Um, I think we're gonna need a lot more. <laughs> we're gonna need a lot of space here. All right. So first things first. Should we just you know what? Should we just cover this whole bit up? I think that might be a plan we just do and bring it down towards where the breathing tower is something like that we'll get that there like that and then we'll just fill that in I think that's a lot of space <laughs> I think that's a lot of space and I'm hoping it's a good amount of space for what we want to do so, how are we going to do this? We need to get a lot of these water storages in place. Now, putting them down one by one like this would be far too much waste of space. That is great English, what I'm saying there. It's just going to take up too much space. So we're going to need to do some sort of stacking. So I'm going to have to figure out the best way to stack this. Now let's put that there. Let's see what we can do with the new uh, mods and see what kind of archways we've got to play with here. Okay. They would actually benefit with this. But the problem with that <laughs> is that that needs metal. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so... You know what, I'm going to try and make a design with that. And what I'll do is that we'll use the first layer until we actually get metal, then we'll build up the rest. So hang with me for a bit and um, we'll see how this comes out. Okay, so do you want to see what I came up with? Do you want to see it? All right. This is the bad way that I've come up with. So this is not exactly enough. For some reason earlier, I thought I needed a hundred of these. I don't need a hundred of these. I need 20 of them. I did my maths a bit better off screen, but I should need 20 of them for them to survive a 20 day drought. So for a hundred beavers, I've got 18 here. And the reason why I'm not too fast is because throughout the whole drought, we will still have water production. So it's not like we would completely stop water production as soon as the day one drought happens. So we should be fine so what this is basically it is a water tower <laughs> and i have stacked them all up here they can come up the stairs up here and go to each floor 
and there's six in each floor. We're using a lot of the um, the arches that we got in the mod. So this is going to take a while to build because we do not have metal. These ones at the front don't need metal, but the ones covering the actual floor do need six blocks of metal and there's a lot of them. So we are going to need to hurry up and get into metal production. But first, do we need to make some adjustments to this? Maybe we'll make it look pretty a bit, but maybe we'll do that in a bit. Let them carry on with that first. And that means we don't really need all this area covered up. I'm not going to actually use this area. I think the only time I'll use it now is we need to find a place to put the water pumps. Now, I do not know how many water pumps this is going to actually need. Let's get rid of all of this here. This. And this. Cool. We can actually get rid of this for now. If we need it later, we'll get it. Uh, there we go. So now we've got to think about water pumps. Now, I don't mind putting water pumps here because before the drought, we do get quite a bit of water. But I do like water pumps being over here as well. But if we have too many water pumps over here, it's just a long distance for them to travel to put the water in. So I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I want it. Let's see how we're playing with the water pumps. So we go to here. We can put them like uh, all along here, which is not too bad, actually. That is not too bad. Let's take a look at that. If I delete this line, and I go like this, look at that, it fits. It actually fits perfectly. It actually fits perfectly. That's actually a dream. <laughs> that is actually pretty good. Um, but will six be enough? I kind of think it won't. So at some point, we're most probably going to have to add more and get beavers around there somehow because we've closed this bit off, haven't we? But I'm going to leave six there for now. I'm going to leave six, let them build that. Then I can get rid of all of these water pumps and these water storages. We can actually, no, we won't empty them yet. We can get rid of all of this and all of these water storages and we can tidy up this area. So the next point of business is I want to move these things because I want to keep this area pretty much for forestry, even though, as you see, it gets kind of um, dull here when the uh, when the drought happens. So the trees may die over here. Maybe that's not the best of places, but this area is definitely a good area to use once I get rid of all of that and these pumps. I can definitely use with a lot of maple here and this bit. And this should be going next to the food, which is going to go here eventually, once we finish with science. In fact, the only thing I need to do with science now is get this one, which is 12,000 science. That's a lot of science. That is a hell of a lot of science. Anyways, while they're building that, we know what we're going to do with this. We need to start getting over here because we need metal. We need a hell of a lot of metal now. What is the range of this district? So I can build stuff here, right? That's good. I can actually build the district here. If I uh, delete these trees, let's put that as a priority for now. And it's for now, it's only going to be a small district, but it's, it is going to get bigger because we're going to keep this district. We have to keep this district. It's going to be providing us a ton of metal, hopefully a ton of metal. So let's get that one down. And let's check the district range again. Okay, they can't get that. That's fine. So now all we need to do is get a district center done. 
We're not going to connect it just yet though, because that would not work. If you see here, if I try and put it there, it won't work because it's, connect it's not it's separated from a gate or with a gate. So we're just going to put that like that. Then we need to build some housing. For now, I think a large barracks will do. Like that. I think that's fine. And then we need storage. So what do we actually need to make the things that we need to make? We're going to need logs. We're going to need planks. Smelter will take scrap metal. But before we even do that, we're going to need treated planks, gears, and all that jazz. Hmm, that's a lot of stuff. So we won't need scavenger flags. That will go in there. But we're going to need to get rid of this stuff here. So let's get a storage of a large warehouse. Right. Here. Now I'm going to... going to restrict a lot of things for now. We're going to decide none for now. And I'm going to put some carrots. Because we need food here. I'm going to put some planks. We're going to need some of that. Gears and treated planks. Now that is going to be pretty difficult. <laughs> And we've got a water source here, so we can put a pump here. And this water source flows over here. So we're going to have to block that off as well. Hmm. So many things to do. So many things to do. Okay, so let's get a water pump. Like that. That's pretty far though, isn't it? Can I put it up here? I think I can. Now the problem is, how do I get to it from up here? If I do something like this, then I can put this here and I can make a little stairway I guess is that on the right side? that is on the right side so that should be absolutely fine to be honest with you that would give us some water needs and there's not going to be many beavers here so we shouldn't need too much water but we will have a breeding pod So that means we'll also need berries. There we go. So the next thing we need is a drop-off point. Just in case we need to send stuff over here. And we can put that like that for now. So what else? We've got food, we've got water. We're going to have um, a supply of gears, planks and logs. Well, not logs, but gears, planks and treated planks. Do we need logs? We most probably will. So let's get a log storage down. And then we can supply them with logs. Can't set that up just yet. So they need to start building this so I can actually start setting up things going over here. So let's make this a priority let's get this done i don't believe they can reach over here because they couldn't reach that okay let's get that done and with all that done we can now finally start working on producing metal so we've got this bit done got so much water look at all that water it's amazing we've got a little i put a little um distribution center up behind here so that we can get stuff onto the other district and I kind of cleared up this area. I don't know. We're obviously going to get rid of this. 
I don't know what more I'm going to do with this. I might put more maple here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. But we'll figure something out. We'll always figure something out. And I've got some uh, bread going. So we should be getting a fair amount of bread now. Which is going to be lovely. Okay. So. How do we get scrap metal? Now. We've got to get to these underground ruins, right? Once we get to the underground ruins, we've got to place these bad boys down, which cost a hell of a lot of resources. So they cost 300 logs, 300 treated planks, and 450, 450 gears. That's, that's a hell of a lot of gears. And there's room for three of them. First things first, we've got to clear this water. So let's take a look at this. We've got a water source coming out here which is overflown into this. Now, if I just, let's get a stairway going down. We're gonna need a stairway going down anyway. Let's get that like that. And let's get these demolished. And let's see how that works when it comes to flowing out here. Because we wanna keep the flow in here because we've got our little water source in here. And we're gonna to need to build up this town because this is just temporary. This is just temporary. We can actually make a nice little mining town here so what have we got we've got the water coming out nicely it's still gonna flow here so it looks like we're gonna have to put some levees there so if i do something like this right what i would need to do to get up there is this and this and let's make some pathing all around, like so. In fact, just to help it a bit, I'm gonna put another one there. I don't know what it's gonna be like for pathing. Eh, it's not. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, really. So we need to get that up and running. Now the next big thing. The next big thing. We need to make treated planks. Now I don't know where I want to make it. That's the thing. That is the question. That is the big question in my head right now. Where do I want to make tree planks? Do I want to make it here, or do I want to make it over here? Now, in order to make tree planks, we need planks and uh, tree resin. So we could make a little system here because this kind of power here we can use. We can use this water to make a pretty decent power system. So that might actually be the plan. You know what? Have we got any spare beavers here? We've got two. Let's get these two on. Let's delete these trees because we don't need a massive amount of trees. We're, we're doing pretty okay. So now that the trees are gone, we can actually start planning our little resin production. So let's get some pine. Now how far does this uh, Kappa Shack, is it called? Yeah, Kappa Shack go. Oh, it goes a fair amount. It goes a fair amount, that's fine. You can even pull it here. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. And then let's make sure we're not cutting down anything over here. Let's do that number, that and that. And then, let's put that on. And then let's get some pine resin. Now pine resin, once it's fully matured, it takes another seven days to produce sap, which is fine. We can do something like this. I think that's more than enough pine resin. And we can go out here, and if we ever need to go down here. So what do we need now for a treated plank factory? Not much, not much at all. Okay, we can put that right here because we're gonna put power right along here. It needs to go a little bit higher, it looks like. I was hoping that was high enough. But that is okay because we have the wonderful things called levy or levy. We'll put that on top of that. Lovely. Then we can go 
straight like that. So that should be our uh, treated plant production. Now, we will need to see how much power we get from this. If we get a decent amount of power, we maybe can put two of them. So that would be pretty cool. In fact, let's put some more pine down. Yeah, I can do that. Let's put a little bit more. We're going to make a proper production a bit later. I just want to get this up and running. And then we need to see if this actually blocks off everything. Okay, so it's it's kind of blocking it off. <laughs> it's, it's not really, is it? It's this bit here. So it looks like we might have to move it down here a bit more. So let's do that number. So with that built, we've got another problem. <laughs> There's so many problems. So it's coming over here now, which I kind of think I know how the creator waved me to design this. We're going to make a little channel going all the way around, ain't we? That's what we're going to have to do. But then if I build it up, isn't it just going to flow upwards and still come out? Hmm. Hmm. It might come out of here. It might not. We'll have to check it out. We'll, we'll have to do that, but we're not going to do that yet because first I want to get into metal and the metal is open here. So I'm absolutely fine with this little solution for now. I'm also going to put some dams here for when the drought comes. It's not going to be done in time for the drought, but that's fine. We'll survive this drought, hopefully. Yeah, we should do. We should do. How much water we got? We got like 75, depending on how long the drought is. We should be fine. They're making that. And once this is all complete, we'll start preparing. Actually, we can put it down now, to be honest with you. So if we go on to metal, I think one should be enough for now. But at the same time, at the same time, I might as well just put them all down. Doesn't mean I have to use them, right? Just mean, means I can let them get built. Yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. Oh, that got built extremely fast. Okay, so I will see you guys in, in a few minutes. And just like that, we have our first deep mine what are they called actually i forgot what they're called efficient mine there we go we're gonna make our first bit of scrap metal this is a historic day let's um let's get that done and let's get our first one going i did increase this because treated plank production was so slow <laughs> so so slow and i put some of these here to try and make a better flow but it doesn't work also also I thought there was three water sources here, but it's just one. These are actually blocked by these two, by things like this. And that made it overflow. Now, the flow is actually perfect. So we could actually, we could actually delete this, but I'm not going to because I am going to try and make it higher. Yes, I might make it higher. But it's quite high already, isn't it? Quite high. Maybe I can just put some... Uh, floodgates here. Oh my god, that's an idea, isn't it? That is an idea. All right, let's do that. Let's quickly do that while they're making the first bit. Have I got scrap metal? <gasps> I've got free scrap metal. Here we go. The world is our oyster, guys. The world is our oyster. Now, let's get this down like that. Uh, how are they going to do this? They can do that. That needs to be deleted. Does it need to be deleted though? It kind of does, because I do want it to come down here. Yeah, it does. I'm going to have to delete that whole thing, really. Which is fine. And then we can do this number. Alright, let's get pathways going down there. So they can do all of that. And there we go. So there we go. We finally have some scrap metal we've got nine already look at that then that means we can actually finish all the metal production over here we can finish this off and we can finish all this off and i was going to put art trays here so we're going to do that as well but that is all i've got time for in this episode so in the next episode hopefully what i might do 
no, 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 no. I'm not going to do it because I want to show um, the metal production. So in the next episode, we're going to have a lot of scrap metal and then we're going to start producing metal and maybe even planning this out because we're kind of okay with this district over here. We need to actually start sorting out this district, getting it self-sufficient and getting it to produce metal planks or metal blocks for us and transferring it to the districts that we need. So guys, that is going to be on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.